CNN's intelligence sources tonight say Vladimir Putin was aware his cyber warriors were hacking into the Democratic Party during the election cycle. One U.S. official saying the sophistication of the hacking tools used in the attack means higher level Russian authority had to have been behind it. The intelligence raises new questions tonight. With the CIA's assessment that Putin wanted Donald Trump to win, what was his motivation? This is the first genuinely, unconditionally pro-Russian president, and not just pro-Russian, but pro-Putin president in recent memory, uh, in modern American history. What does Putin stand to gain from Trump's presidency? Experts say Putin's first priority, dealing with the tough economic sanctions on Russia. Russia has been trying to get these lifted without really doing anything um, in return. And they're very much hoping that Trump will do that. Lifting sanctions on Russia is something Trump's already said he'll consider. We'll be looking at that, yeah, we'll be looking. Those sanctions were leveled to punish Putin's regime for illegally taking over Crimea by force. Analysts say Putin is hoping Trump will back off America's opposition to his land grab in Ukraine. And hoping Trump won't oppose his efforts to prop up Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. And they say the Russian president is encouraged by Trump's criticism of NATO. That plays into what Putin wants to do in Eastern Europe. To really preempt uh, the possibility of NATO building up um, its uh, forces and um, engaging in further deployments in the Baltic uh, Sea region in particular, and also to dissuade the Europeans uh, from taking more steps on their own security. Some of Putin's motivations for favoring Trump are likely purely personal. He's believed to have a vendetta against Hillary Clinton for questioning the legitimacy of Russian parliamentary elections five years ago. In particular, uh, he felt that she encouraged uh, the street protests. And Putin, analysts say, hopes Trump won't get in the way of his broadest ambition, for Russia to become the dominant world player it once was. I think he wants a seat at the table. He wants to be consulted every time. He wants Russia to be a great power in the way that 19th century great powers had to be consulted on every significant international episode of the day. He wants respect.